Welcome back to Journey Alberta. I'm Sean. Right now I'm in Vaudier's Flats. It's a section of Fish Creek Provincial Park. I'm out here today, as you can see, with my friend Jesse. We're gonna walk around today, explore a bit of this section of Fish Creek. It's a uh, not as cold winter day today. I think it's only about maybe minus five or so today as we're out here. And like I said, we're gonna walk around. We're gonna see some of this section because I've never been here before and neither is Jesse. I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah, hopefully see some cool sights out here today. I think it actually might be a little bit colder than the minus five degrees I said earlier. Feels like it's a bit colder. <laughs> I'd put my hood up. But right now, we are headed to hopefully try and find a geocache. There's a lot of snow out here right now. So I'm a little doubtful we might find it, but we're still gonna try regardless. Hopefully we can find it. It's supposed to be uh, about 300 meters from where we are right now in a one liter container. All right. Let's see if we can find this geocache. How likely do you think we are finding the geocache? Uh, well, I mean, there's snow everywhere, so that kind of brings our chances down, but never say never. We're coming for you, Geo. All right, so we're pretty close to the geocache right now. We're only about 110 meters away. And on there it says it's about straight this way. So just gotta keep heading that direction. Hopefully we can find it. Maybe it there, Sean. You think that's it? Oh, there's a big hole in the tree and there's footprints around it. So let's check. Don't ever put your hand into a hole out in the wilderness because there might be something in there like a snake or a coyote, you never know. Oh! What's that? <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I got something. You got something or something's got you? Something's got me. Ah, there we go. There it is. Note saying it was here, there's some stuffed animals. It looks like a little foil playing card, a little rocket ship, some crayons. And of course, everybody's favorite Spider-Man villain, the Green Goblin. There. Jesse is, Jesse has passed me the geocache. I'm gonna put it back in this little hole in the tree here. It's kind of a cool little spot on the, uh, the geocache app that I used to find, used to find it. Uh, you log, on that app when you found a geocache. So this is actually our third geocache that we found. Considering it's the winter right now, it's a, it's a pretty good accomplishment. The other two we found were in Nose Hill. We did a video on that a few weeks ago. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one back. I've logged that I found it. It's a really cool location, like I said. So let's put it back in here. And uh, ah! I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we'll search for some more in the coming weeks. It's a little hard to do because it's winter right now, but yeah, we're still gonna try and find some geocaches caches in the winter because it's a bit more of a challenge. All right, so let's continue down the path in Fish Creek Provincial Park. We've been walking this uh, this loop trail, at least I'm pretty sure, sure that it's looped, uh, for about a kilometer, kilometer and a half now. 
coming upon something right now called Shaw's Meadow. Looks like just a big field of snow. Obviously, it probably looks better in the summer. We've come probably, let's say, a kilometer and a half, maybe two kilometers already. I assume we're going to be going at least another kilometer before we head back to the par or before we make it back to the parking lot. I mean, luckily that geocache was actually right off the trail, so that was kind of nice. All right, let's see what the Shaw's Meadow is here. Well, I may have been wrong about this trail actually being a loop because it just started to go up into a residential area. But we're following another trail now, a little deer trail. It looks like a lot of people have walked on, so I'm just gonna try and follow this for a bit. Let's see if we can't make it back to the parking lot. Coming down or what? Yeah. Slide, just do it, go fast. We actually had to cross the Fish Creek right there when uh, Jesse slid down, we slid right down to the creek. Couldn't actually even see where the ice was. But it was frozen solid so we walked right across it. Now we're back on the other side of the creek. Hopefully uh, heading in the general direction now of the parking lot. After a slight bit of bushwhacking, we're back on the main trail now. Parking lot's probably only another five, 10 minutes up the road from here, hopefully, depending on our pace. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's video. Be sure to leave a like and comment if you want to see more uh, provincial parks. Subscribe for new videos coming every Friday, and I'll see you next week.